uh, truly international story I ever broke. And I followed some, you know, real titans of Australian journalism into this into this position. But the only story I ever broke was uh, I found Bob Trimboli's body in uh, with his head on a brick in a, pl- a little place in Rio Hermosa in in Spain. And and that's a long, dreary story of how we did. So there's this bloated dead gangster. I don't know. For those of you who don't know, Robert Trimboli was a, um, uh, uh, almost certainly a murderer, but very definitely a, a very high-level drug smuggler who'd been on the run um, for many, many years. He'd been captured, he'd got away, he'd, you know, he was sighted here, he was sighted there. The federal police were forever looking for him. Ended up, he was living in a, in a tiny little, um, 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 actually kind of a, a tennis community, a kind of sporting community under the name of um, uh, not Smith um, White Mr White with his mistress um, uh, and ultimately died of, of cancer anyway long story so there's this naked dead gangster with his head on a brick um, in this tiny little cemetery and we got there a full half day before the federal police did um, I kept that photo not for not for glory I swear but to remind me that I never want to be that person again. Because I, a part of me was saying, you're really cool. You've, this is like a world scoop. The, a really part of my ego was saying, you are hot shit. And another part of me was saying, you are lost. You are completely and utterly lost if you think this is a good idea. So there's nothing wrong with with finding him it was the way that but you had that voice yeah yeah that opposing voice and i'm not criticizing anybody who doesn't i know there are there are people there are people who uncover unimaginable things and do it with utter respect and and I, i wasn't doing that i was doing that because i was a i don't know i thought thought this was cool um and for me it isn't and, um, and didn't deal with it and paid for it.